guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So different videos, same clothes, you already know. Um, but guys, I've watched episode five and let me get into this review. But before I do, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You already know, road to 15K. All right, guys, the episode starts off with them talking about them wanting to remain as a part of the royal family, um, especially Megan, because Megan grew up basically as an own as an only child of course she has i believe two siblings samantha is seven years her senior so she didn't really grow up with siblings like some of us have grown up with siblings like that so she really wanted to be a to remain a part of the family so she could have that big family um unit that she's always wanted and that archie can have neat like um cousins to play with he has three from um William and then I'm sure he's got a whole but I don't know if about like and Eugenia I think has I don't know let me not start lying about people having kids I don't know who has kids but you know I me mean? having that growing up together she wanted that for her kids and wanted to build that life for them but the way in which things were happening it just didn't make it easy so then we see her dad doing interviews talking rubbish about her talking rubbish about the royal family like at this point i really don't even know what his end game was it just seems like he was just talking he had a platform he was um interesting people wanted to hear from him and he basically just spoke and spewed a whole bunch of rubbish and it's funny that the royal family wanted her to stop what he was doing even though she wasn't able to stop him from even though she didn't know about it but their relationship apparently wasn't worthy enough for him to not sell fake pictures to the news and then say he ain't going to the wedding i don't know if he wasn't going or he really was sick like i said before i really don't know but i don't know how they expected her to change because it seemed like he was being governed by money so when you're governed by money reason isn't going to help it, reason isn't going to work so she was encouraged to write a letter to him discreetly now for me personally anything that is in form like this videos texts letters emails anything that's in uh in, in rest can be recorded for me i'm good like i sorry like if i want to send something secret i'll call you on the phone like just even though someone can re technically record me most people don't record conversations like regular people but a letter that's easily something that he could easily sell. You see, he didn't, this man's making fake pictures. He has a real letter. For me personally, I wouldn't have done it because this is not something he has to fabricate. Cool. She says that whoever signed for it was not his signature. Maybe he's got a missus. Maybe it's a family member. I don't know. I don't really know the circumstances behind it, but maybe he still had a chance to read the letter because it got delivered to his home and it was leaked. However, it was redacted. So the mail and like, the, the, honestly, the, the mail just looks so bad in this documentary. It's actually unreal, but they wanted to make her look bad. So they took out the parts where she blamed it on the media and just left the rest of it. If me personally, if I was begging, I would have just been like, boom posted it i'm not even gonna lie like i would have still sued them but i would have posted it because y'all not gonna take out the key points that are relevant or make you look bad you are so focused on painting such a negative narrative that you'll breach someone's privacy and then make them look good, look bad in the process at least if you're gonna breach somebody's privacy give them a chance to at least look somewhat reasonable in the letter not that again you're still breaching the law, so that's neither here nor there, but the audacity to, to breach it and to make her look bad on top of it is ridiculous. Um, I'm glad that they decided to take legal action because they thought that, or what I'm assuming is that they thought that they could just take the, the Mickey, they could do whatever they want to do. We basically own the, the, the royal family. They're not going to come for us. They're going to swallow it like they always do. And there's going to be no repercussions. But thankfully to these modern royals, they said, not today, Satan. Not today, neck. That's what they that's what they said. That's what they said. And I love the fact that they did that because they again they're thinking the royal family thinks there's precedent that is set and we can't break it. No, precedents can now be set that you gotta watch your mouth. You can't just be breaking the law because you're this big publication and you're gonna publish nasty things about me. Oh wow, scary. No. So I'm glad that that's what they did and that's the stance that they took. Um and that it was, but it was sad because in, like, in that happening, she was an easy scapegoat for people, for the comms teams to f to say stuff about her. So if there's something negative about this one royal over here, they'll say something about Meghan and that will become, like, 
fifth page news and Megan's front page news. So nobody really cares about what's going on. And I think it is disgusting. And I think accountability definitely needed to happen because we cannot just be like, things just, ha that's just the way things are. No, we cannot. We have to have accountability and things can change and some things do need to change across the board, point blank period. Um, I'm glad that they were able to take times for themselves, go to Canada, enjoy being parents, being newlyweds, and they didn't spend Christmas in London. Okay, so it's not every day go home to your family and go spend Christmas. It's not every day live your life for other people. That includes the royal family, the press, the public, whoever. It's actually not every day be controlled. Sometimes let's do what we want to do. So I'm glad that they had that time away. However, the paparazzi still follow them and they became super, super overwhelmed with what was going on and just, you know what I mean? It just was begin becoming too much. They disclosed that they wanted to move to, come to Canada and they seemed like they had a really good plan. Canada is a part of the Commonwealth, so they can still act in their royal duties and assist the queen on, you know what I mean, on her ambitions. So that's good for the royal family, but then they're also away from the press that ripped them apart. For me, that was such an amazing compromise. And Harry said, I don't want to be dependent on the taxpayers because if you guys take, if I take one penny from you guys and you guys think you owe me, yeah, let's cut that off now. So let's, let's, let's leave that alone. And I think that's such a good way in which to do it. I don't think people have heard about this before. But it's good that that was what he was trying to say because a lot of people will still be, oh, um, we um, we pay for you, we pay for you. No, you're not. If you guys are not paying for us anymore, you don't own us. Yeah, you can't buy me by the rights to my story. You can't control me. And I'm so impressed that that was the route they were, that was the route they were going to go. But guys, see how deep it is that money wasn't even enough to keep them there because money will keep a lot of people there but it wasn't going to keep them there because their mental health and uh them wanting to live the life and raise their kids how they wanted to was more paramount than any money that they that they could get they were also supposed to move to south africa but um that was leaked which is unfortunate um so it seems like they've been trying to escape for the past two years. Them also moving to Canada and Harry saying that if we need to relinquish our titles, we will, we just will. Um, and that being leaked, even though he only told his dad, for me is giving sus. I'm not saying people can't leak it. I'm not saying it definitely is King Charles, but it's giving sus. You would think you would at least try your hardest, lock and key, hide this message protect it i don't know i feel like you'll do something considering this was his fear and it's still and it's still things still went awry and it's just sad that nothing can stay private how can things not stay private why these people that work in communications and stuff who we pay you you don't pay us put these people in their places it's i find it kind of crazy imagine a pa is doing it telling the boss what to do since when since when we would have sussed out that rat and, and like erased them from the company. But I don't know, I just find this kind of weird. And he was supposed to see the queen. She was free. She said, come pull up on me. And then now when everything is going to be leaked that they said that, that they said that they don't mind relinquishing their titles. Now the queen's all of a sudden busy. Even though I hate that for Harry, and I know the queen would prefer not to have done that, she also follows instructions and she takes those, those royal duties so, so serious, it's beyond me. Um, and then when it did come out that they were gonna step back, them saying, the press saying that the queen was blindsided. These are the same people that have to ask the queen for permission to get married. How would she not know? This is the same queen that was involved in the South Africa thing. You don't think Charles would have sent an email or told his mum that this is what Harry's planning to do. And you think Harry didn't tell the queen, like guys be for real. Like, I know that people want them to look bad, but be for real. Like, I think he really, really respects and loves the queen, his grandma, be for real, be for real. Um, and I don't think he would betray her like that. I, me personally, I don't think he would um, come across that way in my opinion. Megan goes back to Canada. They ended up having a meeting about the situation without Meg and Harry tried to advocate that he wanted to keep his duties, but limit it to some degree that it could be a compromise between them, uh, between the, the institution and themselves. It seems like it was a very contentious 
um, conversation that was had, no resolution. Um, Charles and William being so hard strong on following tradition and going along with an institution. And they, 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 they missed out because they had a real opportunity to modernize and change. And William had a chance to also climb out of the institution's like grasp and modernize like his brother you have someone there that's on the same level as you but i guess because even harry's book named spare i don't know if you guys know what spare means but spare basically means that when you have a child and it's a boy the next boy is the spare just in case anything happens to the first son who's supposed to be king that's basically what i mean now i'm, I'm not pressed on the word and the verbiage because that's been around for a long time and and i don't know if he's been called a spare but for me the issue is that he felt like a spare that's the thing like look I don't I don't I don't mind the concept of somebody having more than one child so just in case something happens the legacy can, I'm not, I don't have an issue with that my issue is if he was treated as such that's where the issue lies and yeah I think they really missed an opportunity to modernize and then them saying I don't know who I guess the press saying that William and Harry um are feuding and William and Kate are bullied uh, Megan and the immediate story harry said four hours after that story had dropped that was the news that was going around and then they basically released a joint article between himself and william basically saying that they're cool it's a lie um and they did all of this without his consent now guys look how quickly they moved for the star boy look how quickly they moved for the definite future king but for megan they don't even move period it's not about even at the speed they don't even move so it lets us know when things happen when y'all want to do something y'all can do it y'all just choose not to do it and i think that's why it was megan's like final thing to be like you know what this is some this is she that's why she was probably crying on the phone because imagine you guys make it seem as if we can't do anything about it but when y'all want to do something about it y'all can and that's disheartening because what is she supposed to do she don't get the support she's supposed to get and I'm glad that Harry clarified, even though it probably was a joint decision, Harry clarified that this was something he also wanted to do. The whole Megxit thing, it's embarrassing, guys. It's, why are we comparing Megxit to the UK, stupidly leaving the EU? And that's my opinion, guys. I'm sticking to it. It is what it is. As if he doesn't have a mind of his own. Like, the, the way that this, they think Meghan is some sort of Jezebel, that Harry has no brain for himself doesn't make any sense the things that people were like oh, come on guys have, have rest you know in you guys giving so much credit to megan you're really disrespecting harry as if he's just some puppy some chicken head he's a prince for no reason you know how no like it, that look at the insinuation that, of what you're saying when you when people think like that also people saying oh she doesn't want to compromise she's doing this she's like people speak as if they know something like for me i prefer to remain ambiguous but people are speaking as if she as and even still of course she compromised she's an american actress in the uk i mean in the us living oh sorry she's living in canada living her life doing what she wants to do her whole life has changed if that's not a compromise guys i don't really know what is I don't really know what is and people are saying oh she thought she was going to be this princess and she was things were going to be easy and stuff like that this is not a fairy tale like that people are saying like oh it must not be that hard are you guys royals imagine you can't go sainsbury's imagine you can't pay a bill you can't go wherever you want to go you can't eat wherever you want to eat you have to be told what to dress how to act how to smile how to wave where to go let's be for real people don't know and people are just looking at it like Oh, it's just you being a duchess. No, but there's more to that. You always have to put on a show. Guys, I w could not do that. I would be so freaking tired. I, c I will never behave like a typical person in my own profession. The reason why I say that is because I'm, that's not so me. And I can't do it. And I won't do it. How about that? I won't do it because that's just not me by nature. It's not what feels comfortable for me. And I don't think I should become my profession. Absolutely not. Um... It was interesting to see the whole electronic thing about the propaganda tweets the, the, and how out of 70% of those negative tweets about Megan, they came from 83 accounts that reached 17 million um, users. Guys, that was very, very, very interesting because like they said, this is not no regular, regular trolling, which is still horrible, but this is some, this is a conspiracy, guys. This is, uh, this is, an institution this is a robot in and of itself chugging out stuff 
which is disgusting. These people are having mother's meetings about what to post, when to post it, what pictures to post it with. Like, the people them said it was middle-aged white housewives. Get a job. Get a job. Go cook for the PTA meeting. Or I don't even know. P parent teacher conference. I don't know. PTA? PTA. Parent teachers. I don't know what the A stands for. Assembly. Go, go, you know what I mean? Go s help your child sell Girl, girl Scout cookies or uh, go work, go volunteer in your local calf. Go, you know, go do something. Be useful. Instead of you sitting online typing about somebody else, have some shame. This is, this is, I'm not going to lie, this is shameless. And for the sister to be involved in this, it's not surprising. And this is why it's not just a story, because like they said, you guys are putting, and when I say you guys, I mean like the press, uh, or people trolling, you're putting batteries into people's backs to make them feel brave enough to do some foolishness. Sending death threats, are you for real? How can someone you don't know bother you this much? Guys, it can never be me. 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 So once they say and they announce that they're stepping back, they're having their final engagement. And I'm so glad that they get to see for themselves front and center that people really ride with them. Just because the press don't, people, the public really care about them. And it is a massive loss because they really had an opportunity to modernize. Like, um, like they were saying, Megan, um, looks is a person of color, even though I really don't like that term, but let me just use the term that they used. And 2.5 billion people are part of the Commonwealth. Guys, that's a lot of people. And a lot of them are black and brown. So they, lo they lost an opportunity to do something different. The people, people respected the queen because of her age. She's an institution. She is the queen. But the respect these days, guys, what's happening? We're in a different generation right now. People have the audacity to be throwing eggs at the king or at Camilla. We're in a different day and age, but it shows that we're not just going to respect you because you guys are senior people. We need to have respect so we can give respect. And that's why I'm so glad for the Caribbean. They really showed up and showed out. Barbados replacing the queen as the head of state. Jamaica also wanted to do something similar and canceling tours. We don't need this showman. If you guys don't respect us, what are we doing this for? What, what, to what benefit does it do to be a part of the, now there may be benefits, but I think the people on the ground don't feel it because I'm sorry, the UK has a lot of work to do here, homegrown, and we are all, and, and I don't even know if they're aware of the issues that we need to deal with, let alone trying to deal with issues in a country thousands of miles away that look nothing like you and probably don't even see you as equal. And I'm not saying this for any specific person, I'm just saying in general. Because if this is how they treated Megan and she's only half black, what do they think about the rest of us? What do they actually think about the rest of us? We're all ghetto, thugs, gangsters, divas, don't know how to act, angry, no. So why would we let people like that be the head of our state to do what? To what benefit? You don't respect us. Period. But finally, them talking about the security and it being removed with only three weeks notice. Now, I don't know how many security guards it takes, how trained they need to be, how long it takes, how it, how long it takes to, for people to become accustomed and learn the ways about it. I don't really know, but they could have really given them more time than three, than three weeks. They really could have given him more time than three weeks. And I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I heard that Harry wrote in his book that taxpayers are still paying for Andrew huh why or had been paying post all the allegations coming out why not my money but that's the thing is so people want to be hell bent on harry and megan our money is going to someone that has committed atrocities that we could all rally behind but y'all worried about harry and meg's security oh guys i don't have the energy for it so thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video